Good morning. Well, it's kind of the afternoon now. I literally just tried to film a TikTok like 15 times, but I was so uncomfortable that I was like, you know what? I'm going to film a YouTube vlog today because you guys don't make me feel uncomfortable. TikTok makes me uncomfortable. I just feel like I'm so boring on TikTok now because... Every time I open my mouth to speak, I'm just like, oh, everyone's gonna take this the wrong way. Every time I post, like, something is taken the wrong way. And I, I don't, like, I, it, ugh. Sometimes that doesn't stop me, and most of the time I don't care, but, like, I still just feel like I'm so boring on TikTok now, and I just post those, like, voiceover vlogs. And I love posting voiceover vlogs, but I'm just like, hi, you guys, like, I'm making my lemon water, and I'm just so fucking boring. Anyway, I can say whatever I want on YouTube and you guys don't make me feel uncomfortable, so I'm gonna vlog today. I've been up since like 6, it's 11.08 now. I had a lash appointment at 7, and then I filmed like a morning routine with all of my pets after she left at like 8.30, and then I just had a meeting with my contractor on the phone. Baby, say hello, my beautiful kitty. Say hello. <laughs> I'm making breakfast right now. I wanted to show you guys my breakfast because this is my new thing. I've been eating this for like a week now. I saw this bagel brand on somebody's like Instagram story and so I like hit them up and like begged them for bagels. And they sent me like a package with a bunch of bagels but I didn't grab them in time from the package room so they got all moldy. So I walked to Whole Foods the other day and I got them at Whole Foods. It's called the Better Bagel and I got the everything ones and they have 25 grams of protein in each bagel and only 170 calories whereas like normally there's 300 calories in a bagel and there's like barely any carbs so and they taste exactly the same as like a regular bagel so I fucking love these and I can't stop eating them. Oh there's loads of fiber too. There's 33 grams of, of fiber in each bagel so I'm gonna make one of these I'm horrible at slicing bagels at least I have a bread knife now I got this recently I used to never have a bread knife I would just like hack it bagels with like a regular knife and it never worked so now I have that I'm really like I'm really shit at cutting bagels but everyone's like why are you so bad at like I used to literally work at like a breakfast place and I would cut like hundreds of bagels per day, but we had a bagel slicer. Like I never had to like cut my own bagels like this. And then I'm gonna throw this in the toaster. Okay, I've been using this cream cheese on the bagels all week. I didn't know that Philadelphia made plant-based cream cheese, but they do. So I got the chive and onion one. Honestly, not my favorite plant-based cream cheese that I've ever tried, but it's good. So I've been using this, but I'm almost out of it. So I'm just gonna put this on one half of the bagel. I'm pretty shit at um, spreading cream cheese, so don't watch. And then I made some avocado mash. I just did lemon juice, olive oil, garlic powder, pepper, and salt in it. And I'm gonna put this on the other half. Everything bagel seasoning on both. And I'm gonna do some of this vegan Parmesan cheese on this side. Fuck me. This looks so good. Mmm. You guys, I'm so excited. So like, New York City is my favorite place in the entire world. It has been since I was like eight years old. It's like my happy place. I fucking love it there. I try to go at least like, I try to go like four times a year, but I've been really bad at it this year and I haven't went that much. But I always go during Christmas time. No matter what, I always go during Christmas time because there's nothing like Christmas in New York City. It's my favorite thing ever. And this year I'm gonna go with Colin. I was telling him yesterday, I was like, now we really can't break up. Cause if you ruin New York City for me, we're gonna have some fucking problems, you know? But I'm so excited. We got like the cutest hotel. I'm, we might go to like a Broadway show. I'm gonna see if there's any tickets for the Rockettes available or like, I've been seeing like Grinch posters all around LA. Um, so I'm wondering if the Grinch will be playing on Broadway like while we're in New York City, so I'm gonna look that up later. But I'm really excited and I wanted to tell you guys about it. That vlog's gonna be crazy. Let us on their pirate ship and I'm hanging on. So I've talked about this a couple of times, um, but I am starting my own brand. I wasn't sure at first if I wanted to talk about it um, before it actually like releases, but like, of course I do. I tell you guys everything. So I'm like, I, can't, I literally can't hide anything from them. So I'm just gonna like 
talk about it. It takes a very long time to start up a brand, so it's gonna be a while before these products are actually like done and ready to be sold. It's probably gonna be like next summer. But all the formulas are done, which is super exciting. Um, I'm putting on the lip balm right now, just like the clear one. It's so fucking nice. I'm obsessed with it. I am so proud of this product. I wanna show you guys what I got my dad for his birthday. My dad's birthday is next Wednesday and I went shopping for his birthday gifts yesterday. So I wanna show you what I got him. I'm a little bit proud of the gifts that I got him this year. Cause I feel like in the past, it's always been really hard for me to shop for my dad. So like, I'll just get him like a fucking bottle of vodka and call it a day. But I did not want to do that this year. I've literally been getting him Tito's for his birthday for the past 10 years. So I was like, this shit needs to change here. Except for last year, last year, actually I, I stopped, I stopped with the vodka last year. I got him a Rolex last year. So that was, I don't think I can ever top that. But I got him a gift card to his favorite restaurant. He loves going to Taroni's on Beverly Boulevard. It's honestly a really cute, like old school Italian restaurant. So I got him a gift card to Taroni's. And then I went to William Sonoma. William Sonoma is just like a really nice, like kitchenware store. Um, so I went there and I got him this bottle of toasted Parmesan garlic olive oil. This looks so good. So I got him this. I got him just like a bag of fresh pasta. I got him the perfect ice cube tray. So these make like really big ice cubes because he just drinks like vodka on the rocks, but like ice stresses him out because it like waters down his drink. So I got him like the big ice cube tray. And then <laughs> I got him this tool stand so it's like a it's like a whole little cocktail mixer set that comes with this really nice stand and it's so pretty and i'm so excited to give this to him it comes with a bar stool stand a bar mat a muddler a jigger a hawthorn strainer a bottle opener and a bar spoon and it's so cute i also got him like a random like really nice jar of uh, vodka sauce but i ended up giving that to him like last week because he was like in a pasta era so i was like okay you need to have this sauce so colin is coming He's getting here next Wednesday and we wanted to decorate for Christmas together. So I've been ordering like all of my Christmas decorations and everything. Cause in the past, like I just didn't really put much thought into like the Christmas decorations that I was buying. So I wanted to finally this year, like invest in some really nice Christmas decorations that I will have like forever. So those have been coming in the mail and look at this fucking pile next to my door. This isn't even everything. Like this is just what's come in so far. This giant pile of boxes next to my door. I'm fucking dying. I was on the phone with Colin yesterday and I was like, oh, I'm probably just going to like take, start taking everything out of the boxes and like breaking down all the boxes, like throwing them out. So we don't have to deal with that when we're decorating, but I'll still obviously like leave everything next to the door. And he was like, don't you fucking dare. He was like, that's part of the fun. Don't you dare open any of those boxes. I was like, okay. He literally texted me last night. He was like, you better not be opening those boxes right now. I was like, I'm not, like I'll leave it. I just thought it would be more convenient, but I'm not going to, so. I wanted to take a little break from the video to talk about how to smell and look expensive. So thank you so much Sunbird for sponsoring today's video. Sunbird is basically a fragrance subscription that lets you pick a new designer fragrance every month for just $17. You don't have to invest a lot of money to try designer fragrances if you use Sunbird. I always wanna try like new designer fragrances, but I feel like all those perfumes are like above $100, so that's just like a lot of money to spend on something that you're not sure you're gonna like or not. So Scentbird is cool because you can pick out new fragrances every month and you get to pick them so there's no surprises. And it's just a really awesome way to like find out what you like and try out a bunch of new perfumes to find like your staples. And you can also skip a month if you want. So you can always skip or cancel your subscription at any time. They have over 600 perfumes and colognes and unisex fragrances and they carry brands such as Gucci, Prada, Versace. I'm gonna talk about a couple of the scents that I got this month because I just got these yesterday and I haven't tried them yet and I'm so excited. All the perfumes come with these cute little cards that explain what each perfume is, what the notes are. Let's take out the first. Ooh, it's this beautiful purple color. I love the vials that they're in. Like, this is literally so pretty. And then you can also open these up so you can see this is a very good size sample. They're not like the little cheesy samples. Like, this is a big sample size. This one I literally can't pronounce even if I tried. Etal Lebre de, or de Orange. 
Sous le Pont Mirabeau. I, see, I don't know how to pronounce that. But the notes of this one are pure pink pepper jungle essence, fig accord, aquatic accord, Virginia cedar upcycled, and sandalwood. And let's try it. Oh my God. There's this ride at Disney World that me and my whole family are obsessed with. It's called Soren, but they bring you over like this orange field and they spray like notes of citrus at you so you can get the vibe of actually being in an orange field. That's what this smells like, but like now I smell the sandalwood. It's coming at me in stages. I love this one. Okay, let's try, ooh, let's try this one. This one is Aqua di Parma, Myrtle de pa Paraná. <laughs> I don't know how to say that. The notes for this one are basil, Calabrian bergamot, marine breeze, cedarwood, and juniper. I love juniper. That's what's in gin. <laughs> oh, wow. Oh, what does that remind me of? These are amazing. This is giving very aquatic vibes, very like watery, like vacation on the lake summer vibes. This one's really good. Okay, I'm gonna show you guys one more and it's gonna be the one that I settle on for the day. Okay, this is a cool package. Look at this one. There's like hearts all over it. Okay, which one's this? This is the, this one I can pronounce. This is the English Laundry Midnight Gold. Okay, this one has bergamot, mandarin, patchouli, sandalwood, and musk. I end up loving the most the perfumes that have musk in them. That's like my thing and like candles and things like that. So I think I'm gonna love this. Yep, that's the one for the day. That's the one for the rest of my life. That's so good. I also see they sent me a cologne. I'm gonna have my boyfriend's coming to visit me next week. I'm gonna have him try this. This is the Burberry for Men cologne. This is a journey that I've been on for like the past year. All of a sudden I'm like very interested in just looking and smelling very clean and expensive and looking and smelling clean and expensive does not mean you have to have a lot of money. I would say personal hygiene is definitely the first step in this. So like taking showers regularly, I'll take a shower like every single morning and just using a really high quality shower gel and using like lotions and nice deodorant and wearing like clean clothes that smell like laundry detergent. That's the first step. The next step I would say is definitely the way that you dress, but you don't need to spend a lot of money on designer clothes to look the part. I find that when I wear very like classic staples every day that just look very clean, that's like totally my style right now. So like a nice pair of jeans or like a nice pair of like black leggings with like a very simple, like clean looking top, things that just like flatter my body type and are appropriate for the occasion and just things like that. And now we're onto the fragrance. I feel like a fragrance is what makes people have a memorable impression on you. Like when I think of like specific people in my life or even just somebody that I met like one time, I think of like the way they smelled and like how their smell affected me. Fragrances are just so powerful in that way. I feel like everyone has such a different taste when it comes to fragrance and it really just like can match your personality so well. When I find a fragrance that I love, it just makes me feel so much more confident and attractive and alluring. And that kind of energy definitely attracts people. And I just love playing around with fragrances. My number one fragrance of all time is Daisy by Marc Jacobs. That is just definitely the fragrance that people think of when they think of me, and I really just like marked my brand with that one, but I'm, I've been trying to branch out and Scentbird has really helped me with that. So finding a fragrance that complements your personality and style is huge. I do have a coupon code for you guys because I love you. So if you use my code, you will get 50% off. 50% off. I'll put the link down in the description. So just use my code, get 50% off. That means for your first month at Scentbird, you'll only be spending just a little over $7. $7. This is available in the USA and Canada. Thank you so much, Scentbird, for sponsoring today's video. It's been such a pleasure working with you guys over the years. I am obsessed with your brand. You know this. I love you. I am so excited about these perfumes, especially this one. This one slays. This is my new favorite scent of all time. So I love you, Scentbird. Thank you for sponsoring today's video. And back to it. I'm going on a long walk instead of going to the gym today because that's what I feel like doing and I always get so excited on Fridays because that's the day that the canceled podcast is supposed to come out every week but they're quite literally never on time so I'm gonna listen to Trish's new podcast with Brooke because I love Brooke so much she is the funniest person in the entire world I decided that the other day. I was like, wow, she is the most funny person I've ever seen. So I'm gonna listen to that.
I'm so mad. I just got back from my walk and look what my cats did to the pasta that I bought my father for his fucking birthday. This is so depressing. Like my cats are literally like dogs. Like they will like climb into the bird cage and like try to eat Marty's leftovers. Like they will like knock over the trash can and like eat from the trash can. They'll claw open things like this, like dry pasta, things that cats just shouldn't be interested in. Okay, I just showered. I'm gonna do like a little light, simple makeup. So I'll show you what I've been doing recently. I just moisturize my skin first. I have to use this specific moisturizer because it doesn't leave my face like oily and greasy like everything else does. I use the aloe luminizing face moisturizer. If I'm ever gonna use a moisturizer, not at nighttime, it has to be this one. And I just, first I just put it on my cheeks and then I gua sha. This is like literally my 10th gua sha I've ever owned because I drop them all the time and then they smash. Okay, I use the Makeup by Mario concealer to just cover up like a few pimples. I only use this like in all of the regular areas, like under my eyes and stuff, if I'm like going out. Same thing with foundation, I only use foundation if I'm like going out. Otherwise, I just cover up the fucking zits that don't go away around my mouth. It's the most bizarre thing, like I only get zits like around my mouth and that's it. But like I'll get so many of them, I don't know why. Okay, now I use the Makeup by Mario Contour Stick in the shade Medium. Put this right under my cheekbones and on my forehead. And I use a brush now to blend it out. I use the 79 brush, just like the Sephora brand one. Because Colin is so fucking cute. He's so proud of like the Christmas presents that he got me and he like can't stop talking about them. He calls them gift number one, gift number two, and gift number three. Gift number two and three are his favorite. He says they're very thoughtful and like meaningful and intimate. And he's like so excited about them. It's so cute. Like every single time we talk on the phone, he talks about how excited he is to give me these gifts. He's giving me gift number three on Wednesday when he gets here. And then he's giving me gift number two when he visits me for Thanksgiving. And then he's giving me gift number one like on Christmas. And he's really just hyping these up and it's like literally the fucking cutest thing ever. So I'm excited to see what they are. We were talking about how fucking boring it is to like be one of those couples that's like, let's agree to, to no gifts this year. Like where's the fun in that? I find gift giving like so much fun, especially with, with like your partner and like your close friends. Like I love, giving gifts, I love receiving gifts, and if you say that you don't, you're a liar. So I just think it's so boring when people are like, let's agree to no gifts this Christmas. Like, why? I'm just taking the excess and like rubbing it onto my jaw, I don't know. And then I just use this Charlotte Tilbury Airbrush Flawless Finish Powder in the shade Medium, and I put it all over my face because I am a oily, oily person. I've never been with the whole like glowy trend because I just end up looking oily. It's like not cute. And now I'm using the Makeup by Mario highlighter in the shade Golden. I love Makeup by Mario. His stuff is so good. And I just put it in the usual spots. I'm still using this sample that I got like so long ago. It's the Benefit Gimme Brow. And I'm just using this to like gel up my eyebrows. I've literally been using this sample for like two months. I don't know how there's still stuff in this bottle. And then lastly, I just put freckles all over my face. This is the best freckle pen I've ever used. It's the ColourPop freckle pen in the shade Soft Brown. It's perfect. I used to just use like eyeshadow and an angled brush to do my freckles. And then I started trying to find like a freckle pen that worked for me. And I tried like the Freck pen that everyone uses. It's orange. I don't know how that looks good on anyone. Like it just literally made me look like, I don't know, like it was just like red dye on my face. It was crazy. So this one is perfect and I love it. Okay, I just finished getting dressed. I'm being a little bit dramatic and girly today, but that's fine. I'm in the mood. I'm using my salt and stone deodorant. I never really had a preference on deodorants. So I was just like, deodorant's deodorant until I found this. It is my favorite. And then I'm gonna put on one of my new Scentbird perfumes. This is one of the ones that I can't pronounce. This one, this is totally the vibe for the day. And then I'm gonna put some lotion on my legs. Um, I'm using the Hemp Nation Sea Salt and Sandalwood lotion. This is my favorite brand of lotion. It's like perfect. I hate the lotions that are like 
that take like 10 minutes to like blend in with your skin. Like I was really excited to get the Sol de Janeiro like bum bum cream um, for my body, but it takes so long to blend out. Like it just makes your whole body white which I don't like. This just blends out in like seconds and it's so hydrating. I wear this dress like once every two weeks just cause it's like the perfect little like slip dress. It's like super flattering. It makes my tits look amazing. I got it from For Love and Lemons. I have it in this like yellow color and then I have it in green too. And it's just like perfect. And then it's like 85 degrees out, but I'm gonna throw this Jenny Kane sweater over it just in case I don't feel like being exposed anymore. Sometimes if I wear something like super revealing like this out of the house, I end up regretting it and I have to like come home to get a hoodie because I'm like, uh -huh. so I'm just gonna put this sweater over it. I get so many questions about this sweater. It's from Jenny Kane. I emailed Jenny Kane like practically begging them to um, put me in their ambassador program and they totally ignored me. My coffee that I was drinking was like really small so I didn't want to put it in like my big like cup so i stuck it in this little like air one juice jar and it looks so cute okay i'm at um the camera store that i come to whenever i have an issue because i want to talk to the guy about my camera that i vlog on is giant like it is the most inconvenient camera on the world to vlog on but it's just my favorite just i don't know like i I have the Canon EOS M15. I've been using this since I started YouTube and I have like a wide angled lens on it cause I need a wide angled lens or I literally won't film. And the camera that like every YouTuber uses is the G7X and it's so tiny and so perfect and portable. And I literally bought it, but I hate it. I hate the audio. I hate how it's not like you can't change the lens on a G7X. So you can't get like a wide angled lens for it. So I literally can't use it. So I'm gonna ask the guy if like there's any more portable cameras that could fit, like just something smaller. I'm just, I'm just seeing what my options look like. So the answer is no. He showed me the, so I have an M50. He showed me the R50. Um, so that camera, I guess, has like a wide angled lens that would be like half the size of the one that I have now, but it doesn't come out until January. So, and it's still just like not as small as I would like it. I just really wish I liked the G7X because it's so perfect and tiny, but I just hate it. And I don't know how everyone uses that fucking camera. I wish I liked it, but I just don't. Okay, I'm at the Grove because my cats destroyed the pasta that I got for my dad. So I have to go back to William Sonoma to get more pasta. I honestly just scooped all that pasta back into the bag and I'm gonna just eat it. There's like literally cat fur in it though. So I have to like wash it first. Also, I was gonna go to Pottery Barn later because I wanted to get like a big Christmas candle, but I think they have those at William Sonoma. So maybe I can just get one there. I asked Colin to like film a vlog for me the other day. I was like, would you like film a vlog for me and like send it to me? And I wasn't expecting him to do like a full blown vlog, but he did and it was like the cutest thing ever. He sent me like a four minute vlog just for me. And I was like, Colin, you're way better at vlogging in public than I am. Like I have to find like little corners where nobody is. And like, I still talk weird cause like I'm nervous. He was just like in the grocery store or like, vlogging in public. I was like, you're better at this than me. I'm like, please quit your job and be a TikToker so I can spend more time with you. <laughs> I also have to go to Barnes and Noble because um, I'm almost done with my last book. So we're gonna go to the Barnes and Noble too. Mm -hmm. My mom just called me and told me that my cousin is going dairy free and like I'm fucking crazy like don't tell me you're going dairy free like I'll do everything in the world to make sure you have a pleasant experience. As you guys know I'm vegan so I love to hear about when people are going vegan or like going dairy free like things like that I love it. So I just literally drove to Whole Foods after I got off the phone with them and I went in and I took pictures of like all of my favorite 
dairy-free cheeses and like pizzas and boxed mac and cheese and like stuff like that. So I'm gonna show you guys really quick if you're interested in like, cause I've been vegan since I was 15 or I went vegetarian when I was six. I went vegan when I was 15. So I've had all this time to find my favorites from the grocery store. So I'm gonna show you. So this is all from Whole Foods. I feel like Whole Foods just has like a really good selection of all of this stuff. So these are my three favorite like vegan frozen pizzas. This is kind of random, but this is just like my, this is like a really good like vegan cheese tortellini. Kite Hill is a really good brand for vegan cheeses and like stuff like that. Um, my favorite like vegan fine dining restaurant in LA called Crossroads, they use Kite Hill. So it's a really good brand. So that's like a really good cheese tortellini. The best vegan ricotta, Kite Hill again. These are my favorite vegan boxed mac and cheeses. Boxed mac and cheeses are so fucking important to society. And these are my two favorites, especially the go the goodles. Goodles is I just discovered that like a few months ago. So fucking good. This is a dairy-free heavy whipping cream. So I'll use this when I'm making like a creamy pasta sauce, like penne alla vodka like a creamy alfredo sauce, like a bolognese with a little bit of cream. Like that's what I use when I'm like cooking. This is my favorite sour cream. It's by the brand Forager. And then also Forager makes my favorite type of yogurt. Honestly, I love every single type of vegan yogurt. It's all so good. The coconut ones, the almond ones, cashew. I think they're all so good, but I just love like probiotic, like unsweetened yogurt. So this is my favorite one. These three cheeses are really good for like dipping crackers in too. These are just like very fancy, like thick, creamy, like cheese blah. Oh, they're so good. These are like literally my favorites of all time, but I'll use these to dip crackers into. I'll use these for charcuterie boards, like things like that. This is the best Parmesan to like top on pasta, avocado toast. I literally put this on everything. It is so fucking good. But then if you want something that's more of like a, like the Parmesan experience where you're like grating it and shit, um, Follow Your Heart also makes like a Parmesan wedge that you can like actually like grate and stuff. This is my favorite cream cheese, Kite Hill. Like all of the flavors are really good, but I'm such a chive cream cheese girl. So Kite Hill is my favorite for that. And then honestly, I love every single type of plant-based ice cream except for Oatly. I don't love Oatly. Um, ice cream, I don't know why, but I just took pictures. So I love like every type of ice cream, but I took pictures of like, um, like the fun little like ice cream desserts that I love so much, Cool Haws. I literally actually, I had to pick up a box, but they make really good like little drumstick-esque um, ice cream cones. They make good like ice cream sandwiches. And then those kind Frozens don't sleep. Don't sleep, those are so good. And then lastly, if I'm making like a pizza, um, I've used this Miyoko's like liquid mozzarella before, which is really good for pizzas, but then also Violife shreds are really good for pizzas too. So I'll get like the mozzarella shreds or like cheddar shreds. They have a good Mexican shred blend for like other things. I love it. There's my little educational lesson on dairy-free shopping at Whole Foods. I hope you enjoyed. I'm home. I'm gonna eat a little edible. I, I can't wait to show you guys the fucking amount that I eat every day. It's crazy. I finally found like a perfect dosage for me, which is insane. It's been really tough because so I started smoking when I was 16 and honestly it was like a very positive thing for me at the time. It got me out of my shell. I was all of a sudden extroverted for like two to three years. Like it was a very positive thing for me and it helped me out quite a bit. But then like I was more so just like addicted to the act of smoking. Like I loved the act of smoking so I never stopped but I started to get like very negative effects from it but i still couldn't stop because i loved doing it so much it got to the point where like i would smoke and it would give me like this intense paranoia like every single night like i would walk around my apartment with a knife i would be convinced that somebody was in here just like crazy paranoia i already have social anxiety pretty bad but like it got to the point where like every time i would smoke i would feel this intense terror Every time I would receive a text, I would receive a call. And it's not like I was answering this call, these calls anyways. Like I wouldn't be able to obviously answer these texts or calls, but like I would feel this like intense fear just from receiving them. Like it was insane, but I still didn't stop smoking. So then over the summer when I met Colin, I'm petting like two cats at once right now. So over the summer when I met Colin, I 
kind of had to stop smoking because I wanted to talk to him every night, like so badly. So if I smoked, I wouldn't be able to talk to him. So I just quit for like an entire month and it was crazy. And then I slowly started to eat edibles. I was like, let me see if I can find like the perfect dosage of edible for myself so that I can still like be a little high sometimes, but not be fucking crazy. You guys, I figured it out. You're gonna laugh at me. This is like, <laughs> when I was like, 17 years old, I used to be able to like sit down with my girls and literally smoke like 10 backwoods in one night and be completely fine. This is what I do now. I take a, f <laughs> I take a five milligram edible, like so. This one's been gnawed at all week. This was a five milligram edible. This is what I do. And that's it. It's probably not even like one milligram of THC. It's perfect for me. It just makes me like a little high. I don't get the munchies as bad. That was another huge negative side effect that I had. Like I would get the munchies like a motherfucker. I would eat 15,000 calories after like 9 p.m. Like it wasn't cute. I'm just so excited that I finally figured out how to um, navigate this. I, I do miss like rolling a blunt and like smoking it sometimes, but that's just not possible for me. I can't do it. And that's okay. I'm gonna start on dinner because I'm starving. It's like literally four o'clock, but I don't care. I'm starting on dinner. Oh, also I ended up getting my candles from Target because I'm, I'm really trying to not spend as much money because I am unfortunately one of those people that cares so fucking deeply about the quality of things. So I'll buy like a $60 candle versus a $6 candle from Target. Like I just, I can't fucking help it. I never used to be like that, but now I definitely am. And it's fine, but it's it's an expensive habit. So I went to Target to get my candles. I got, these smell so good. But my issue with cheap candles sometimes is they don't smell up a room the way a good quality candle does. Like this one, for example. The salt and stone candles, like I will light this in my kitchen and I'll be able to smell it in like my guest bathroom. You know what I mean? But these smell so good. I got cookie exchange and I got sugared pine needles. Everyone always comes for me and they're like, you can't light candles with your bird. It's toxic, you don't care. Birds cannot be around paraffin wax. So like Yankee candles, like I can't light a Yankee candle around Marty, but soy wax is okay. All the candles I use are soy wax, and surprisingly, like this brand from Target, most candles nowadays are soy wax, but even these, um, these are thresholds, $6 from Target, and these are soy wax. Most candles are soy wax, but for some reason, Yankee candles aren't, which kind of breaks my heart because I love Yankee candles, but it's okay, I'll live. You guys, I was just telling Colin that I have a, well, first of all, my first like guy friend group that I had when I was like, I was like 11 when I had my first like group of guy friends, I literally wanted them to think I was cool so bad because they all played video games. So I like, me and my dad like got this like hand me down Xbox from like a family member. And I would like, I went out and bought like a bunch of games like Gears of War and shit. And I would like practice playing Gears of War like by myself all the time because I wanted them, I wanted to like eventually play with them and be like super good and be like, yeah, like I play video games. But I just like hated it, so that didn't last. Um, but then I was like 
13. I was in my first serious relationship. Like, this was my first, like, real boyfriend. And he was playing GTA. We were at his house, and he was playing GTA, and he had his character in the game, like, pick up a joint and smoke it. I broke up with him and left. <laughs> this was, like, I used to think that, like, weed was, like, heroin. Like, he, he used to smoke. Like, he started smoking when he was, like, 11, and I made him quit when we started dating because I was like, you're gonna die. And then I broke up with him because he made his character smoke a joint in GTA. Because... <laughs> I was like, you're such a fucking junkie. Like, I don't understand, like, why you think that was funny. Like, it was this big dramatic thing. <laughs> At what age in your life did you learn the most? How many slices of pizza can you eat in one sitting? Well, am I high? All of them. <laughs> Me too. You guys, my apartment's doing the thing again. Look how foggy it is. This is so cool. For like three days in a row, a few weeks ago, it looked like this every morning when I would wake up. Like it was just like white <laughs> outside of my windows and shit. And I like posted a video of it on TikTok. It was like kind of a vibe. So this kind of, I like this. It's cool. <laughs> is it treat time? I think it might be treat time. Treat time is so fun. <laughs> All right. Okay, we're doing my peak and pit of the day. I'm literally making pasta right now. It's like 11 p.m. My pit, um, you guys already like saw. It. I didn't really have a lot of pits today. I would say like my only pit was going to the camera store and having them tell me that like I'm shit out of luck. That was probably my pit. And all these new friends around my mouth. I have pimple patches literally all over my face right now. Um, and my peak, I honestly, like, my whole day was peaks. So I had a really good day. I, t I always have, I love, like, my life. Like, I usually love to, like, romanticize every moment of my day. But it's just, like, amplified by a shit ton whenever I vlog for YouTube. So today was a very good day because of you guys. Um, but my... Number one peak was on the weekends, like my boyfriend doesn't have to go to sleep early because he doesn't work on the weekends. So like tonight we just got to talk on the phone for like three and a half hours. And like, we usually talk, like we always talk like for a really long time at night, but he normally has to go to sleep at like 7 PM my time. Cause he's two hours ahead of me. So whenever it's the weekends, we just like have so much time to talk on the phone cause he doesn't have to go to bed early. So that was my peak. Um, comment your peaks and pits down below, you know. I'm gonna eat my pasta and I'm gonna read a little bit in bed and then go to sleep. But thank you guys so much for hanging out with me today. I love you so much. That was so much fun. You're my best friends. I love you and I just love you so much. Um, make sure to check out Scentbird. Um, the link will be down in my description and make sure to use my code for some money off. You can literally get your first month for $7. Like that's crazy. So click the link down below and use my code. Make sure to like and subscribe, please. That really does help me out a lot. Um, I'm begging. No, I'm kidding. Um, no, I'm not. Uh, my Instagram and my TikTok are both just Tara's World. My OnlyFans is It's Tara's World. And I'll link my Amazon storefront down below as well. I love you guys. I would die for you. Good night.